This is the Sacred Rose Temple and I am your host, Colette Corcoran. We're working with dragon energies in our collective 2024 because this is the year of the wood dragon. And the dragon energy is an energy that is really potent through all of our times, starting with the ancient times of our ancestors. We all know the dragon through myth and fairy tale. And this magical, mythical creature has set us curious about what really is a dragon. Through Druidry, we understand that the dragon is one of the magical creatures that help us on this realm. It is made from bird and serpent, air and earth, but comes in many different elements such as fire and water to teach us many things about ourselves. The dragon energy is a potent energy, and it's one that lies in all humans. When we do sacred movement, we can begin to feel this dragon energy in what we might like to call the chi center. Maybe we call this shakti or life force. Or in Druidry myself, I call this the nawefra. And so this energy lives in the base of the body. It can be located above the pubic bone, right up to the belly button and up to the rib cage, into that central column that we would call in yoga the Svadhisthana and the Manipura, the second and third chakras. This life force, what they call in the East as Kundalini life force, and Kundalini is a serpent dragon, is coiled around the base of the spine two and a half times. And this serpent energy, this dragon energy, is lying dormant within our bodies, waiting to be activated. When this energy is activated and sent through the body, it's what we call an awakening, a spiritual awakening. The person that this happens to will see life through a very different lens. They will begin begin to understand that the structures of our world are not quite what they seem and that they themselves are not what they thought they were. Old conditionings of what was imprinted on us in childhood through our society, the schools we went, the peers, begins to fizzle. And what starts to emerge in this dragon energy is the questions of who am I? Why am I here? There's got to be more about me. How can I live my life through this new awakening, through this new sense of spirit, through the world as a different place around me? And they are sure signs that Kundalini, the dragon within, is stirring within you. So I want to take a moment with you all to just place your hands on your solar plexus, anywhere around your belly. And if you've done some sacred practice with me, you may already be aware of that space. If this is new to you, just place your hands anywhere around your belly button, just feeling where a dormant power may be waiting within you. And with those hands on your belly, just begin to breathe in and out, recognizing the inhalation and the exhalation. As you breathe in and out, just be aware of the breath entering this space. Feel the breath building in the belly. Don't be afraid to balloon the belly, to round the belly as you breathe. And as you breathe in and out, begin to really allow that belly to balloon. Let it Buddha belly, let it grow round, swollen. Let it take the air, the oxygen you breathe, to activate within you that power. Pranic force, chi, life force, kundalini energy, nawithra, whatever we name it. The breath seeks to activate. And as you activate this breath, as the breath activates you, 
creating the bridge from the mind to the body. Begin to feel an energy stir within that center. Maybe you feel it in the spine. Maybe you feel it deep in the pelvic bowl. Maybe in the belly. Just trace and track. And know that every time you do this, this potent energy will get stronger. You'll be able to recognize it more. Feel it. And as it begins to gather momentum, just breathing to keep the energy growing. Breathing to keep the life force stirring, gathering momentum. And when you feel that power in your belly or in the spine, begin to send it up the spine, breathe it up the spine. Send it all the way from the very base of the coccyx all the way up the 33 vertebrae. Finding its way all the way through the spine or what we might call the energetic spine, the shashuma. to the very point of the axis at the back of the head where it activates the alta major and then into the head. And then feel the energy come all the way down. All the way down back to the coccyx and then all the way back up. And just breathe here, circulating that dragon energy, that life force, all the way through your body, in and out. Pause this recording and just spend some time here, allowing the energy to gather and grow And then hold your breath. Take a big, deep breath into the belly, holding the breath. Allowing the belly to really round, hold the prana, hold the chi, hold the life force. And then slowly take a yawn. As you release the breath. Hold the chi energy within the belly. Allow your breathing to come back to normal. And then back into your body. And back into the room. Opening eyes. And being in the present moment. May this energy move through you, live through you. May you feel the power of the dragon within. I went.